trap every single vessel. Yo. One of the things that I always say in life, spreadsheet everything, spreadsheet everything. What's up friends, welcome back to this week's video. We're so close to 1,000 subs, thank you. All right guys, my name is Nicole and I make videos every Wednesday and I mostly talk about personal finance, but sometimes I sprinkle in some self-development stuff. So yeah, if you're into that, subscribe and yeah, let's go on with the video. Featured comments, Kyle Tan, hmm, no, <laughs> Jiao. I tried to watch this last night when I was drunk and I couldn't ever. <laughs> But hey, this is very helpful. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's the first time I've heard of that. I didn't know that people watch my videos drunk. Nice one, solid. For this week, we're going to talk about my personal finance setup. So many of you guys have been asking me to like show my spreadsheets, how I track my stuff. And this week, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So yeah, you know, giving the people what they want. If you guys are interested in that, keep watching. I personally love watching videos like this. I watch a lot of people who share the apps that they use, their systems. Hopefully you guys find something interesting from my glorious spreadsheet setup and then bring it to your own setups. I keep stressing the importance of tracking every single peso, every single cent that goes in and out of your accounts. Oh duh, okay, we get it. But like how? How do you, how do you exactly do that? So this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to discuss how I divide my accounts, like the accounts that I have and then what I use them for. In the second part, we're going to talk about my spreadsheet, like how it all works. All right. I guess let's just jump right in. I divided my entire finance thing into two categories, cash and investments. For this video, we're only going to talk about how I track my cash flow, my entire cash system. It's mostly the expense tracking part, basics as always. In a separate video, I'll talk about how I track my investments. Uh, some of you guys ask, how many bank accounts do you recommend for millennials? As with everything that I say, it really depends. I personally have 13 accounts. Di naman lahat, may laman. My reason for having so many accounts is that I don't like keeping all of my money in just one place. It's tempting to spend if you see such a big amount in just one space. So I like to separate them into different accounts, into different banks. That's gonna stop me from just like spending like crazy. So it's like in my brain, this, spend, good. This spend bad. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't think there's any consequences. Like a lot of the accounts that I have have no maintaining balance. All right, so accounts. So I have three categories for my accounts. One is the cash that I have on hand. Two are the bank accounts that I have. Three, my e-wallets. All right, so on hand, I have two accounts. So the first one is my on-the-go wallet. And then the second one is what I call my home wallet. This is them. <laughs> This is so ugly. So the first one is my on-the-go wallet. So whenever I go out, I, this is the wallet that I have. I hate those like big bulky wallets. So I prefer to have smaller ones like this. Nothing special. It's, it's just my money and my cards. My bills are arranged. So I spend the ugly bills first before I spend the nicer, crispier bills. I'm weird like that. I don't know if any of you guys do that also. So I have two cards, my Paymaya card and my Union Bank card. Next, my home wallet. So funny story about this wallet. I think I was around seven years old. My family and I rode the bus. And then when I went to the back seat, I found this empty wallet. There was no money in it. There, was no, there were no IDs or anything. It was just a wallet. So until now, I still have it. The reason why I have it is because I don't like carrying lots of like cash in my on-the-go wallet. I don't like withdrawing. So I just like having some cash at home so I can reload this. So yeah dad wallet <laughs> then i mentioned this in one of my videos i actually have a free to spend fund so whenever i spend something i deduct it from here when this has no more cash then that means i can't spend anymore so let's talk about my banks so all in all i have five bank accounts <laughs> Let's go through all of them. So the first one, my BDO Passbook Savings Account. I've had this ever since I was younger. So I mentioned in one of my videos that I really love saving. Like for some reason, I just hoard money. After every school year, I would like gather all my money, sort them, segregate them, fill up deposit slips, and then make my mom deposit into my account. And this one is enrolled into online banking. Nothing special. They're not perfect, but you know, it works. So for those of you who are interested in opening an account with BDO, they have like 
two basic account types. So this the first one is the passbook savings account. So another option, ATM savings account. Next one, I just opened this account recently. So this is the Union Bank Play Everyday account. And I, I'm so impressed with the app. I mean, like the BDO app is not bad. Okay lang, it freezes from time to time. But the Union Bank app is so pretty. Like the UI is so beautiful. It's so beautiful, man. It's like a gamified savings account with where you can earn points and stuff. And it's geared for millennials. You have to be 20 to 35 years old to open an account. They offer a credit card and a debit card. So what I have is a Union Bank Play Everyday debit card. You get one point per 20 pesos spend. And if you have the credit card, you get one point per 10 pesos spend. I'm not eligible for a credit card yet because of my age and I don't have a job. This account has no maintaining balance, but then that's like a trade-off. You don't have to maintain a balance in your account, but you need to pay 500 pesos every year. You don't have to go to their branch to sign up for an account. I actually opened an account through their app, filled up the form and stuff, and within five to 10 minutes, I have my account. I was able to request the delivery of my debit card through the app. They delivered it to my house. I mostly use it to earn points on the card. And they have a lot of partners. Huh? They have a lot of merchant partners on their app. And another cool thing, they're offering free Instapay transfers until December. I love it. And then we can talk about my last three high interest savings accounts. So I have an account under GSAVE, CIMB UPSAVE account, and then an ING account. All of these banks are digital banks with no maintaining balance. They give higher interest than most banks. If you guys are interested in learning more about that, check out my video on the best high interest savings accounts. This is where I keep the bulk of my money. What I usually keep in these accounts are my, my emergency fund, also goals that I'm saving up for in the future. So at least I get some interest in them. All right, so those are the bank accounts that I have. Now let's talk about my e-wallet accounts. I have Gcash, PayMaya, Coinsat, PH, GrabPay, and PayPal. So first let's talk about Gcash. Like ever since I started using Gcash and then up to where it is now, like so much stuff has happened to the app and it's amazing. Cashless revolution, like you don't really need to bring cash anymore. I really like Gcash because for one, there's a built-in bank account in your Gcash app through save money. There's a lot of services. I usually use it for mga online payments and bank transfers. If you haven't opened up Gcash account yet, you can use this QR code to get 70 pesos worth of freebies. Next, we have PayMaya. It's very similar to what Gcash has to offer. I mostly use it for online shopping. One of the special things that they have is that they have a digital card. You're gonna have to verify your account, but then like once your, ver your account is verified, you can use the digital account there and that's what i suggest everyone to use whenever they're online shopping yeah you stay safe with your online purchases if ever someone compromises your account details the only thing they'll have access to is like the limited funds you have in your pay my account uh, mostly my e-wallets are empty whenever i need to like spend and buy something i load it and then the I spend. If you don't have a pay my account yet, you can use my invite code. I'll also leave a, a link in the description below. Help out the channel, get free 50. All right, let's go. And then I have coins.ph. Selling point of the coins.ph app is that you can buy cryptocurrencies within the app. The cryptocurrencies that they have on their app is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Ripple. So they have four. Like the crypto prices in the, within the app is so expensive. I don't recommend people to buy from there. Don't. If you're gonna get into crypto, you know, you can get better prices elsewhere. And I'll talk about that in a separate video. All right, so the next one is GrabPay. Uh, I've only started to use it more just recently. GrabPay was just used to pay for your Grab rides. But now it's there's so much more within like the GrabPay app. You can pay your bills within the GrabPay app. And then you can also use it to transfer to different banks. The most interesting new feature of the GrabPay app is similar to the one that's in PayMaya. It's a digital GrabPay card. And you earn more points whenever you use the GrabPay. I love earning points. <laughs> All right, so lastly, we have PayPal. I used PayPal a lot before because I would go on these online freelancing sites and then receive my payments through PayPal. So yeah, that's all. those are all of the accounts that I have. It's important to track everything. I have so many accounts. How the hell do I keep track of all of these accounts? Well, let's talk about my spreadsheet. So proud of this. 
So as you guys know, I seriously got into this personal finance thing about two years ago when I turned 18. Because after reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, Financial Wokening, I started to take my finances more seriously. I'll show you guys where it all started, how I started tracking all of my stuff. Start When I was starting out, it was so ugly. It was hella ugly, yo. If you're an accountant and then you see my like setup and you think, that's wrong, that's wrong word. I'm sorry. I don't know stuff about accounting. This is just what I do and this is what helps me keep track of my entire financial accounts and everything that I do. It works, so apps never really worked for me. They were never able to track exactly what I wanted. Well, I wasn't consistent with using the apps, so I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna make my own spreadsheet. I can create the system that I want, tweak it to exactly how I want it to be. So this is my entire finance spreadsheet. The system that I have now didn't always look like this. So the first thing I did, I'll show you my money tracker. So the very first thing I did was list out all of the accounts that I have and then how much I had in each account. I wanted like a clear picture of where I was starting from. I started on June 2018. So I would list out all of my accounts, bank, cash envelopes, home wallet, all those things. In addition to this, like I had another sheet that worked hand in hand with this. It served as my expense tracker. I called it my informal cash flow sheet. Like I divided per month. Date, the activity is just like a description of what the transaction was, what I used them for, you know, just to let me know where the hell did this um, 116 pesos come from, for example. So ugly, I'm not proud of this. <laughs> it got me consistent with like tracking every peso. I wasn't perfect at the start. You can see like these parts that I missed track. I, like I missed out on certain amounts that I wasn't able to track. You know, unaccounted, it's like 950. I don't know where that 950 came from. It's like, it's like five pesos. I wasn't able to track that. Ch I changed this up. I thought of a way to improve it by a bit. So this is my cash flow sheet 2.0. This is more or less similar to what I have now. Like I put a drop down menu. So I know if it's an income, if it's an expense, or if it's just me like transferring funds. Now let's talk about my spreadsheet today. So now I divide it per quarter. And there's like four main parts to my spreadsheet. List of my accounts, so my account detail, current balance of that account. So you can see how much I have in each account. And then to the left, how much I want to maintain in that account so that I don't go under it. I tag my transactions, whether if it's an expense, whether if it's an income, if it's added to my account, debit credit, buy-in or something, I don't know the terms. An addition to my account, it's in green. If it's a deduction, it's in red. If ever you like my setup, I'll create a video on how to build this in Google Sheets. So if you guys are interested in that, comment it down below. Instead of apps, I use my spreadsheet. Because I have it everywhere. I mean, like, spreadsheet is, spreadsheet is free. Some of the apps have like limitations on how many accounts you can add. And ako, like someone who has no bueno, no bueno, sir. In addition to this cash flow sheet, I have this thing that I call the overview. It just gives me a snapshot of my net worth, financial standing. I separate my account into two categories. That's the cash and my investment. I also added like a composition of my portfolio. If you invest too much in one thing, Shemper, you're exposing yourself to a lot of risk within that certain sector. I didn't know this before. I'm very, I'm super exposed to agriculture crowdfunding sectors. My farm on capital, the one I mentioned in one of my videos. I'm aiming to bring that down to just 15%. I'm still planning to do a rebalancing of my entire portfolio. I'm just keeping 30% of my entire portfolio in cash, cash stuff, and then the rest are invested. So I'm close to that right now i'm not quite there yet i'm still wanting to adjust certain things i have so many years ahead of me since i'm not gonna touch all of my money in a man i'm just gonna keep them in income generating investments so if you like this video if you found this helpful like and subscribe hit me up on instagram leave a comment down below what do you do to manage your finances what are you planning to do if you're still starting out i want to know share your thoughts thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next week bye